Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, and today this video is about Microsoft's Windows 11 Insider Preview Build, 23506, which is released to the dev channel. Starting with this build, Microsoft is releasing ISOs for this build. Now talking about what's new in this build. Firstly we have passwordless experience with Windows Hello for Business. With Windows Hello for Business, WHFB, Windows provides organizations with a strong, fish-resistant credential, helping customers move to a passwordless future. Enterprise customers can now set the Enable Passwordless Experience policy that promotes a user experience on AAD joined machines for core authentication scenarios without requiring a password. This new experience hides passwords from certain Windows authentication scenarios and leverages passwordless recovery mechanisms, such as WHFB pin reset, if necessary. Next to that, we have unsafe password copy and paste warnings. Starting in Windows 11, version 22H2, enhanced phishing protection in Microsoft Defender Smart Screen helps protect Microsoft school or work passwords against phishing and unsafe usage on sites and apps. Microsoft is trying out a change starting with this build where users who have enabled warning options for Windows security under app and browser control, reputation-based protection, phishing protection will see a UI warning on unsafe password copy and paste. Next, we have, local file sharing improvements. Microsoft has made some improvements to the built-in Windows Share window and nearby sharing for sharing local files from your PC. Those improvements include, redesigned the Windows Share window to better match the Windows 11 design principles. Everyone will now be able to email their files through Outlook directly within the Windows Share window. Just click on the Outlook icon under the Share Using section of the Windows Share window. The Windows Share window now has a search box so you can now search for contacts across Outlook to share a file and the Windows Share window will now display 8 to 10 suggested contacts to quickly share to, including emailing yourself a file. Instead of a drop-down, you will see a button to turn on nearby sharing. For nearby sharing, you will find your own PCs at the top of Discover Devices under nearby share. Files will share faster from one PC to another using Wi-Fi Direct. Added share to the contacts menu in File Explorer in addition to having the share icon at the top of the contacts menu. As a reminder, these experiences will work for sharing local files from the desktop, File Explorer, Photos, Snipping Tool. Xbox, and other apps that use the built-in Windows Share window. Next, we have, the new Outlook for Windows is now an inbox app. Starting with this build, the new Outlook for Windows preview is now an inbox app. With the new Outlook for Windows, you can connect work and personal emails, calendars, and contacts in one secure place. Lastly, we have post out-of-box experiences. OOBE trying out several new experiences after completing OOBE, out-of-box experience, starting with this build. If you choose development intent within the Let's Customize Your Experience page during OOBE, Dev Home will be automatically launched on your device after logging in and reaching the desktop for the first time after OOBE setup. If you choose development intent within the Let's Customize Your Experience page during OOBE, the Get Started app will be automatically launched on your device after logging in and reaching the desktop for the first time after OOBE setup. The Get Started app will show you a personalized flow that will help you learn more about Dev Home and give you the opportunity to open Dev Home. If you choose to restore your device during OOBE, the Get Started app will be automatically launched on your device after you log into your device for the second time after completing OOBE. The Get Started app will show you a personalized flow that will help you learn about key apps and settings, tell you that Windows has been restored on your device, and show you how to access your restored apps on the Start menu or taskbar. Moving forward, and talking about the changes and improvements made in this build. Regarding the Windows Copilot, the Windows Copilot Preview, which began rolling out with build 23493, is now available to all Windows insiders in the dev channel. Insiders may need to reboot to have it show up. Regarding Emoji, with the update of color font format to Color V1, Windows is now able to display richer emoji with a 3D-like appearance with support coming soon to some apps and browsers. These emoji use gradients to bring the design style that our customers have been asking for. The new emoji will bring more expression to your communications. Regarding voice access, voice access is now available via the accessibility flyout on the lock screen. Regarding backup and restore, in addition to the new Windows backup app, now you can configure your backup preferences in a second chance out of box experience, SCOOBE, so your apps, settings, creds, and files are backed up in the cloud just the way you want them. You'll have peace of mind knowing the data you care about is protected and ready for you to restore from any PC. Regarding settings, 
Microsoft has temporarily disabled the new settings homepage that began rolling out with build 23493 due to a bug that could cause some instability on insiders PCs. Plan to re-enable and roll this back out once that bug is fixed in a future flight. Also added two additional energy recommendations under settings, system, power and battery, energy recommendations for turning on dark mode and adjusting the refresh rate to conserve energy. So, these were the changes and improvements made in this build. Now talking about the fixes made in this build. Regarding file explorer, fixed an issue where explorer.exe might crash when dragging tabs. Fixed an issue that could cause explorer.exe to crash when opening gallery. Fixed an issue that was causing explorer.exe to crash when trying to access an FTP address. Fixed an issue where selecting the drop down arrows in the address bar was opening a blank menu in the last flight. Fixed an issue where file type icons are displayed in place of file thumbnails for recommended section, applicable to enterprise users. Fixed an issue where insiders signed in with an AAD account who tried to navigate the recommended section on File Explorer Home with a tab key on the keyboard may have experienced an explorer.exe crash. Fixed an issue where if you navigated from another group to the recommended section using a keyboard, the focus will not appear on the group header or files appropriately. Fixed an issue where opening home was crashing for some insiders. Fixed an issue where if you clicked on the share command, it would bring up the Windows share sheet instead of the OneDrive share experience. Fixed an underlying issue believed to be the cause of certain apps hanging when trying to use the open file dialog. Regarding notifications, fixed an issue where the copy button for quickly copying two-factor authentication (2FA) codes in notification toasts was not working as expected. Regarding taskbar and system tray, fixed an issue where the notification badge on the widgets icon in the taskbar could get out of place. Regarding search on the taskbar, fixed the issue causing text scaling to not work in the search flyout. Regarding dynamic lighting. Fixed an underlying pfman.exe crash, which could impact the ability to type, related to the dynamic lighting work. Fixed an issue where all device settings changes were not propagating to per device settings. Also with this build, we have Microsoft 365 Office, which is pinned to the taskbar by default. So that was all from Microsoft for this build. If you want to know more, follow the link to the official Microsoft blog from the description. Hope it was useful consider like for the video. Subscribe to the channel and if you have any questions, just comment down below. Thanks for watching and have a great day ahead.